Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here once again with another video. Uh, I did um, two videos, and one of them, uh, I did the short box video, and apparently when I did the second um, uh, long box video, because I did it in two parts, obviously, so the second one got deleted, so um, on copyright infringement, which... I found kind of hilarious only because it was music I was playing in the background and someone from a record company, I don't know how they do it, I'm sure some of you are more privy to it than I am, um, had a copyright infringement on it and it um, was a song from 1932, which, you know, I played music before in the background, I never had any issue with it, but now apparently there's someone out there looking out for it, so that whole video got deleted and um, not knowing it got deleted I had already put those comics away so I can't even reshoot the video because I don't know uh, I can go back and look at the video but then I got to dig through the collection it'll take me forever to bring up those comic books that um that I showed in the uh, second part of the video so um that kind of is a bummer um, I don't know if anyone else has ever had their video deleted on copyright infringement but um, it was weird. It's from a song from 1932. Go figure. Um, you know, it wasn't like I was playing something modern or hip or something that anyone would know about now. So, um, unfortunately, I can't show that video. So, but one of the things in the video, um, one of my subscribers, Surf Blue, wanted to see a Gene Autry um, movie poster that I had mentioned that I had on my wall. It's behind the camera, so um, I'm going to show that real quick so he can see that movie poster that he requested to see. There it is. It's kind of big, but it's a, it's a nice poster none, nonetheless. It's from Pack Train. I got some movie stills from that um, that are certified to be the first print. Of the movie stills from that uh, motion picture. So. So what I'm going to do today. Actually I don't know if anyone will find interest in it or not. Um, I hope you'll find a little bit of interest. Is War Comics from Charlton. Um, there's not going to be a lot of issues. Um, they're just so hard to find in any type of condition. Or. Um some of the issues are just elusive um like one title called never again it's hard to find um uh, marines and soldiers or it's soldiers and marines one of the two the title of it um one of those variations it's it's so hard to find they have photo covers um so the war comic books are just really elusive either the condition is really really bad on them or um or they're kept in collections and and um and not sold because they're you know and dealers too when you go to comic book shows you know the dealers won't carry they, of course they're going to bring with them what's going to sell and i don't blame them for that so a lot of dealers won't have their charlton's with them um they i didn't bring them today or you know uh, i don't have that many of them something toward, towards that effect um you know and again they're they, they want to bring what sells so in the in the comic book shows the charlton's are hard to come by for that reason as well but anyway, without further ado, um, one of the issues I have here is Fight Navy number 74, all new Navy action stories with an awesome atomic bomb cover. Fight Navy number 76 with a Giordano cover. These are from the late 50s, I believe. Fight Navy number 105. This is a nice condition. Fight Navy number 107. I just picked these up, set these up not too long ago. Fight 
Fight Navy 113. Some of these covers are just weird. The the perspective and the angles that they that they that they that they shoot. Um that the artist has a shot of that perspective. It's just kinda um kind of strange like like this one. It's almost like a photograph almost. Um all the gunners mates are waiting for this cruiser, this destroyer coming by this um German cruiser. But it's it's a good cover, it's just a weird perspective, I think. This is uh, 116 of Fighting Navy. Fighting Navy 117. Fighting Navy 122, which is another strange cover. This is a good cover. I like the the floating heads on it. Fight Navy number one twenty three. Here's some later issues that are again hard to find because it's later. Low print run on this one. Fight Navy number one twenty nine. Sixty cent issue from eighty four. So it's how long the title's been running. Long running title. Fighting Army. Uh, one, uh, that's number 33. But in the late 50s, I believe. It's Sam Glansman cover. Fighting Army number 66. Fighting Army. With the Lonely War of uh, Captain Willie Schultz in this issue. Number 90. Ninety one. In the Lonely War of Captain Willie Schultz. Fighting Army number 130. Yeah, some of these covers are just generic war covers. 169. Low print run on this one. Close to the end of Charlton anyway. This is um, close to the end. And Captain Willie Schultz got his own title, number 76. I don't know what it was before. Um, there was another title. I don't know where what it, what it is. Um, but it's with 76. I'm being a Captain Willie Schultz. Sorry, folks. I'm just curious to um, yeah. It was also fighting army. It doesn't say what it was. Um, what it was from. Um, could be fighting army, but that's what he appeared in. But Captain Willie Schultz started with 70, 
76 and 77. No print run on both of them, so that's the first issue. I've showed this before, this Fight Marines. Has a Matt Baker Canteen Kate story in this. This is number 14. The Fight Marines. Fight Marines. Number 58 from 1964. Fight Marines number 110. The awesome Pat Boyette cover. But it's flying awful close. Another um, awesome painted Pat Boyette cover, Fart Marines 125. Another one. Um, I don't know who did this cover. I don't think it's Boyette, but it's painted 126. Could be Pat Boyette. It's not as detailed as it usually does, but I'm thinking that it is. This is another Pat Boyette cover, number 127. This next cover is really good. Fight Marines, number um, 130. I don't know who did this cover, but it's a, it's a nice looking cover. Fighting Marines number 143 from 79. Fighting Marines 150. Very again, again a very generic cover. This next series is hard to get a hold of. It's called War at Sea. I only have one issue, and it's number uh, 32 from Volume 2. You can win this free regulation size Buster Crab swimming pool. You can win this, it says so at the bottom. <laughs> I wore it, see, again, it's number 32 from Volume 2. Nice red, white, and blue cover. PT boat action. This is one of my favorite covers, but they reused it on this um, World at War cover. And um, the detail is lost. It's muddied with the colors. We've got muddy um, looking colors on the details lost on it. But it was first used, I do believe, on a title called Never Again. This um, gunner's mate um, here on this cover. This, the detail is totally lost from the original. But this is one of my favorite covers. In its original form. This is World at War of 25. World at War number 46, 60 cent issue from 84. Again, this is not that good a shape, but I get them when I can. Nice size, um, giant size fighting Air Force number 12. Big 100 page, 25 cent issue with a great cover. U.S. Air Force, number one. Again, these are just so hard to find. It's a cool cover here, Battlefield Action, number 40, uh, excuse me, 66. Nice red, white, and blue. Great painted Pat Boyette cover on this called All New War. Great dogfight, World War One dogfight cover.
Finding Forces in Action, Attack, number seven. Attack number eight. Attack number nine. It's a pretty dynamic cover. Attack number 19, 1979, 40 cent issue. Attack number 25, 1980. They like using these pink hues in the sky on these covers. Number 26 from Attack. Twenty-seven. Thirty-one, great cover. Twenty-nine, and this looks familiar. This has been a reused cover already. Wasn't too long ago. Let's see what issue was that. Number seven of attack, same cover. Reusing, co reusing the covers already. Again, a very generic cover here. Attack number 34 from 82. Very bizarre artwork on this cover. Number 35 from 82. Look at the dog. Very strange, peculiar artwork on this. Attack number 39. Attack number 40. This is a cool issue here. Um, attack number 48. The low print run, last issue of Attack. Um, it's got a Simon and Kirby cover, which is just a great cover, and it's all Wally Wood artwork inside this issue. It's hard to find. Low print run, last issue. All right, um, that's all I got to show. I'm already 17 minutes and oh, almost 18 minutes into this video. I hope uh, everyone find it a little bit of interest. I know War Comics is not everyone's cup of tea, but uh. You know, some of the Charlton Ward comic books are hard to find, and they're 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 a they're they should be noted um, and collected. Um, you know, some people just don't find it uh, their cup of tea, like I said. But uh, you know, low print runs, hard to find condition wise, distribution wise. Um, you know, um, get them when you can find them. So, hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend and. Uh, have a good week, and I'll talk to you guys later. And again, thanks for the comments, the viewing, the subscribing. Um, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if not, just tell me why. Uh, I got some thumbs down, which comes with you as par for the course, but no one says why, you know. I want to improve what I'm doing if I'm doing something someone doesn't like. So, again, no music in the background. Don't want any copyright infringements. So, um, hope everyone takes, takes care and stays well. Bye.